Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this toddler slash infant pool because if you didn't know toddlers and infants cannot go in the big pool. The first thing we're going to do is go down to the pools and fountain section and we're going to grab the pool tool and we're just going to create the shape of the pool that you want. And I'm doing it this way because of where I want the infant and toddler pool. I want it here and I want this, this small section here so it sort of looks like it's all joined. That's why I'm only leaving this one space here. And this is sort of a decent size for infants and toddlers. First thing we're gonna do is go to the terrain tools, which is just down here. And we're gonna go to the terrain manipulation and we're gonna use flatten to height. And if you are on console, for this you will have to use the um, flatten to height slider because I don't believe you can do it where you use the control and bracket keys. So I'm just going to pick a square and I'm going to try and get it to the same size. So you can see this is the same size as the square I have here. The reason we want to do this is because we don't really want to touch this bit too much because we don't want it to be too sloped. If it's too sloped, your toddler and infant won't be able to get down here. If you're on PC, just go ahead and press Ctrl and do this twice. So you'll have to sort of guess that with using the height slider. So apologies for console users. Then what I'm going to do is just click in here and totally flatten this area. Like so. And you see we've got this slope here. And I like to give it a test just to make sure your toddler can actually get down here. And you see this has gone invisible, it just automatically does that. I don't know why it goes invisible, it's pretty strange, but it sort of works for this. But you can see the toddler can get down here, so we know this is perfectly fine. So the next thing is just using the water tool. If you don't have the water tool, the water tool is also found in the terrain tools just down here at the bottom. If you don't have this, you need to update your game. This came out when Cottage Living came out. It is a fully based game though, it was just released at the same time. And I'm just using the raised water and you just click and it fills up the area. What I like to do is because there is grass down here is actually paint this to a colour that sort of matches the pool. So the one I go for is the Quarry Grey from Eco Lifestyles. Obviously if you don't have that you'll have to use something else. There's nothing that is white or blue. This is just the closest thing I could find colour wise. You can see it lightens it up quite a lot. I'm just putting it like that up to there so it doesn't look like grass. And I'm just going to go in with a white tile on the inside. Again so it sort of looks a bit more consistent. But now we should be able to get the toddler to play in the water and she doesn't want to get in for some reason so this is why I like to test things. I don't know if it's because the dog is in the way. There we go, she can get in now. The slope was a little bit too deep. So I just had to have a little bit of play around make sure the slope wasn't too deep. You can see it does now work. So if you can't get your toddler to go in, this could be why. For some reason they never go any deeper. I don't know if it's because they're not allowed to go this deep. So she just plays here. But infants can go here. So if you just click on your infant, you can go ahead and just click in this and put dip toes in water with and you can click an adult sim and they will grab the infant and come bring them and dip them in the water like this. And it's a pretty cute interaction. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.